What up, though? Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man. Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall, they got a new movie coming out, and it's called Coming to America 2. We all heard about it. We all know what it is. We're going to see it, man. But they went on a little press run. They went on Jimmy Kimmel's show, or Jimmy Kimmel, what us black folks call him. And they revealed to him that they had to add at least one white person to their movie. Um, the movie is being backed or financially, you know, co-signed by Paramount Studios. And Paramount Studios said, y'all got to have at least one white guy. So they th they dug through the crates and they found um, Louis Anderson. And for one, I think Louis Anderson should have been a part of the movie anyway, because he was in the first one. They should have they should have automatically go and linked him in to the movie just like, come on, man. So that's that was weird to me already. But the question everybody's saying is like, yo, is this racist that they have to add a white to a white person to the movie or they didn't add one in the first place? Um, cause he wanted to have an all black cast. And the simple answer is that is yes and no. Yes, it is racist and no, it's not racist to have an all black cast or yes, it is racist because you got to think about it, man. You don't want to alienate people because nobody went out and seen Tower Heist. We ain't going to see that movie, man. We ain't going to see I Spy. Um, we did go see, um, Bowfinger though. Bowfinger was dope. I can't front on that one. Um, we ain't gonna see Meet Dave. We ain't see that movie, man. So you can't alienate your people, man. That's that's, that's kind of eh, that ain't right. That's what I think, man. That's why I say yes, it is a little racist because you don't want to alienate people. You gotta keep, you gotta bring people together, man. People been rocking with you for a long time. White folks have um, Eddie Murphy, but on the other hand, this your movie. You can do what you want to in your movie. So I thought, I mean, because Paramount stepped in and make made you have to add a white person to the movie but it's your movie so you shouldn't have to add a white person to the movie unless you don't want to but i'm all about bringing people together so i don't see i don't know why you didn't have him in there anyway the conversation women brought up if um mr louis anderson was a, a part of the movie anyway he alive and kicking it so he should have been a part of the cast anyway that's crazy he wanted to break a record though for all black people in the movie or something i guess i don't know um that's, that's kind of crazy, but I think it's um pretty dope. What's my man name? Master P. Master P. He broke a record when he did this movie. Um, I got the hook up too. When he did that movie, he broke a record for the most speaking roles inside of a movie. It's never been done. Like everybody who played in the movie spoke. He ain't have no extras, basically, man. But that's the news that I have on this, man. Do y'all think this is racist or not? That Eddie Murphy d didn't want to have any white people inside of his movie, or is it? Affirmative action. Hmm. That, hey, man. I'm, I'm saying, is there any all white movies that we can not boycott, but can we say, hey, we want to be in that movie too? I don't know. It's some deep conversation, man. We definitely going to continue this conversation Friday right here on this channel, man. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Y'all got to come through and holler at me. Um, hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, come join the conversation Friday right here on this channel, man. 915 because my cousin be late. I just had to throw him under the bus real quick. But anyway, man, come through and holler at your boy. Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace.